In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, export to Excel, and print a sales by customer report within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, we go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. In order to find the sales by customer, we can go to the reports drop down. This will be a report. And we could go to the sales item and go to the sales by customer. Whenever I look at some of these other reports, however, I like to go to the report center sometimes and just see what they have there in terms of the different variations. So we go to the report center up top. We get a bit more of a visual. And if I'm going to the report center for the visual, I will typically keep it on the default or even go to this uh, visual screen over here. So we can get flip, we can flip through the section that we want to look at and get some more ideas just quickly in terms of the visual layout. So I'm going to keep it on this standard view rather than a list view, which I would prefer and use pretty much when using the reports drop down which is more if a list type format so then we're going to go to the sales item the sales tab we're in the standard tab we're going to go to the sales on the left i'm going to maximize the screen so we can see the whole thing and then we want a sales by customer so we can see the difference here now but by sales by customer in terms of the detail and sales by customer summary here's the summary here's the detail we're going to pick for our purposes the sales by customer summary report and we'll go ahead and run that report here we have it we're going to change the dates with it we're going to say the dates is going to be 010119 to 022819 that's going to be the current time period we have been working with so here's we got we got the sales by customer which would be what we would expect a list of customers here and we're going to list out the sales we've had by customer this can be a very useful report in terms of determining who our best customers are and and being able to prioritize therefore uh, how we deal with our customers now it's important to note that these are all a lot of these other reports we're going to have are going to tie into the financial statements in some way the balance sheet income statement or profit and loss so how does this tie in it's going to tie into a profit and loss statement so if we add up all the sales that we've had to these customers over the time period of january and february of 2019 it should tie out to 18,775.40, which we should find on the profit and loss let's see if that is indeed the case we're going to go to the reports drop down this time we're going to go to the company and financial and select the profit and loss standard change our date range to the same range that our other report is on by going to 010119 to 022819 January 1st 2019 to February 28th 2019 and we get to the sales here 192540 if we go back to our sales by customer we've got 187540 so the difference between those two if we if we take out our trusty calculator here Trusty calculator 18775.4 minus, and then we're going to go to the profit and loss. It's going to be this 19, so 19275.4 is that $500. So remember that if we double click on this merchandise sale, we'll talk more about this, but we had this journal entry, and that's why we have to be careful with journal entries. And this is an adjusting journal, so it's okay because the accounting department did that and they're going to reverse it or the adjusting department did that and they're going to reverse it but that's where this difference is at so it's good to be aware of those uh, and how that can happen we'll discuss that as we enter the data in a future presentation so we're going to close this back out so note that this is how it ties into the profit and loss so all the other reports we have should basically tie into the balance sheet or profit and loss in some way the sales by customer is a performance report telling us how we did over time by customer and therefore ties into the performance financial statement, profit and loss, or income statement. So we'll go back to the sales by customer, and uh, and this is what we're going to have here. Now we could have a, a little bit more detail and possibly break this out in a little different format and format this uh, by having January and February possibly. One way we could do that is to go to the totals drop down, 
And instead of having the total for the two months, we may just want a month by month comparison. So we'll say month by month, and that'll give us now the sales by month that we have here. And of course, if we double click on any of these items, we would see invoices and sales receipts, just as we would if we went into the, the detail for an account within the income statement. So we'll close this back out. Next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll remove the date time and report basis. We'll get rid of the, the pennies and we'll put a footer on it and all that good stuff. So then we'll go to the custom customized reports up top. We're going to go to the header and footer. And now we've got the get great guitars, uh, sales by customer summary. Uh, we have January through February, which we should probably just put January and February now because we have the two months. And then we've got the removal of a date time report basis is typically what we do. We're going to standardize Smith on the footer here for whoever we want on the footer. And then we're going to go to the fonts and numbers and we will put parentheses around it. We're going to make it red and we're going to remove the pennies, remove the cents and then say, okay. So that'll give us a little bit more cleaner look here. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, save this report. We'll, we'll export this one to an Excel file. We're going to have a few more reports here. So we just want to say, okay, how can we group these reports? We're going to have some that we cannot put into Excel, some that we can in terms of graphs that we cannot, reports that we can. So let's, let's put this all into a folder and think of how, how we might want to organize this and possibly present it or give it to others. So we'll first export it. So let's go to the uh, Excel up top and we'll create a new worksheet, creating a new worksheet. And then we're going to put this into an existing workbook so, or actually we will create a new workbook. This is the first um, workbook that we've had for this section. We're going to call section four, I believe. It will then export it to Excel. We're going to create a new workbook and put this information in to it. Here we have it. We're going to do our form, our normal kind of formatting on this. We're going to go to the view up top. We're going to go to windows and unsplit the panes here. We're going to double check to see if the header is there by going to this page layout view. And there's the header. So that looks good. We're going to go back to the normal view and everything looks good. I'm going to remove this item, right clicking on it, deleting it. And then we can just double click here and call it something like sales by customer. We have to abbreviate in some way. So we'll abbreviate there. And now we could save if this is the only report we have, we can give the Excel file, we can give a PDF file. But once we start building reports, it's nice to have them all in one place here for us that we can then try to try to save this in, in multiple ways. This is probably the most flexible way to have them in Excel that we can then used to, to save this information in multiple ways. So we're going to go to file up top. We're going to save as. Then we'll browse to where we want to save as. Then we'll go to the desktop because we're going to save as someone somewhere within the desktop. And then we're going to go to our get great guitars file. We're going to go to the reports section four. And I'm just going to call this section four reports save it the following features cannot be saved that's no macros that's fine and there we have that so we'll save that other way we can do it is of course to print it or print it as a pdf so we go to print this time it has the pdf option as it does not oftentimes when we have the graphs but i would rather just print it and use the pdf printer because that works every time so i'm going to say print to the pdf printer and we will have the PDF printer here and we're just going to change the name once again and it's going to be sales by customer and let's keep it there and say save and there is our information. For more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info